Introducing the Menacing Lancet Drone, a powerful asset in coordination with the Orlin Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. This cutting-edge drone launches from a catapult, ensuring seamless surveillance and precise target designation. Once deployed, the Lancet Drone takes on a critical role. It loiters or actively searches for the assigned target, ready to decisively destroy or disable the enemy threat. We will also be looking into the basic step-by-step -step process of this technology, exploring its intricate parts, so stay tuned and don't miss a beat. The Lancet 3 is the largest model of the series of loitering weapons, sometimes known as suicide or kamikaze drones, developed by the Zala Group, a subdivision of the Kalashnikov. But what is the big deal with these drones? It's all about the financials, as it costs around twenty dollars to $40,000 to produce them, whereas the Kinzel hypersonic missile can cost around $10 million. The bottom line is even when they are destroyed by anti-aircraft fire like the Gepard, it can still be produced in larger numbers in a short amount of time. Let's look at the specifications. The drone has a length of 1.65 meters or 5.24 feet. Interestingly, this drone has two pairs of X-shaped wings mounted at the front and rear of the fuselage and commands a wingspan of one meter if you measure from one tip to another. And it weighs around 12 kilograms or 26.4 pounds. Comparing this to a person will help you understand its size. Even better, let's compare this to the Switchblade 600 and the Shahid Kamikaze drones. As you can see, the Shahid is much larger among the two loitering munitions animated in our recent videos. Before we examine how it works, let's look at its parts. Although the Lancet can be operated by a two-man crew, but behind the scene it has a number of parts that helps it to operate in the battlefield. Number one, it requires a catapult to launch a drone. Number two, an Orlin drone that is responsible for navigation and observation for the Lancet. Number three, a command and control center is required to operate the Orlin as well as the Lancet drone. As data regarding the Lancet drone are still classified, let's take a look at the parts as a possible theory. Again, I repeat, this is a possible theory of the engineering behind the drone. At the front of the drone is the electro-optical guidance systems. These cameras act as a light contrasting edge of the target, dark or light against the general background to track and guide itself. In short, it acts as a guidance mechanism. Just behind the guidance system is the warhead. It is the typical KZ-6, a high-explosive circular shaped charge used for demolition primarily to penetrate armor and reinforced concrete fortifications. Moving to the back is the electric-powered engine that propels the drone to the standard speed of 110 km per hour or 68 miles per hour. Interestingly, this drone can operate only for 40 minutes, almost similar to the Switchblade 600. These are the step-by-step -step process of how this works. Step number one. Two soldiers launch a surveillance drone named Orlin using a catapult system. Step number two. The Orlin drone tracks and selects targets. Step number three. A soldier unfolds the Lancet drone wings and sets it up for catapult launch. Step number four. The Orlin command and control system transfer data target to the Lancet drone. Step number five. The Lancet drone switches to its electro-optical guidance systems as directed by the Orlin Command and Control Center. Step number six. The Lancet drone will dive into the target and activate the typical KZ-6, a high-explosive circular shaped charge used for demolition, primarily to penetrate armor and reinforced concrete fortifications. Let's simplify again through these animations. The Orlin Command and Control System transfers target data to the Lancet drone. The Lancet switches to its electro-optical guidance systems to track its target. It then descends upon the target using its KZ explosives to penetrate light armor, artillery, guns, or trucks. This is how we make original 4K 3D animation from scratch in Blender open source software with two animators working on it full time. Do subscribe and light up the comment sections with your point of views, also adding your intelligent feedbacks along the way. Till then watch our multiple engineering videos just like these.